What's up guys? It's your girl Ricardo with the NAFM back with another video. If this is your first time tuning in, make sure that you smash that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that bell for post notifications to make sure that you receive a notification every time we got a new banger dropping, guys. Now, as you can already tell by today's caption, we received some bad news today. We are not the only people that got these kind of bad news. There are thousands of people out there who have the same kind of problem now, which is our cruise got canceled, guys. This was not just any kind of cruise. This was supposed to be our first cruise ever. And not only was this our first cruise ever, this was also our first time going to the Bahamas and we were so excited. But now that the cruise got canceled, we are super frustrated and so sad and mad at the same time. But we definitely understand that this was done due to the coronavirus pandemic and some actions need to be taken to make sure that not more people are getting infected. It's already bad enough and seem to be getting worse. So we definitely understand that and it's better to just sit back and reschedule go at a later date than going with a high chance of either getting infected or being stuck on a ship and being held there for 14 days of being in quarantine because somebody else got sick. So that would also be really messed up if that was to happen to us. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. And it is Saturday evening right now, guys. You already know it's the time to have some red wine. Tiana is over at her friend's house having a sleepover and the boys are upstairs playing Fortnite. So I'm downstairs sharing my frustration with you guys about our cruise being canceled. For those of you who don't know, we were supposed to cruise on the Carnival Ecstasy on March 28th, leaving out of Jacksonville, Florida for a total of five days to the Bahamas going to Nassau and Princess Case. And if you watched my video yesterday all the way to the end, for those of you who are already subscribed to us or we're looking forward to our next video, you may be wondering, hey, what happened to the prank? You mentioned that you were going to drop a new video tomorrow, which is today, doing a prank on the kids. Well, yeah, I did start that video, but I didn't get to finish editing it simply because all day today, I was on the phone with Expedia, which is the agency that we booked from, as well as with Carnival, trying to figure out how to rebook and simply go at a later date. So that prank on the kids is still coming. I'm not going to tell you guys more. My mouth is sealed. It's a surprise. It's going to be super funny. I'm so, so excited. So you guys definitely stay tuned for that video. But unfortunately, I had to spend all day on the phone and I started off with calling Carnival Cruise Lines this morning and I was literally on hold for two hours and 56 minutes before a representative answered the phone. I said, hey, we already booked a cruise. Here's our booking number. And I am aware that there's no cruises operating until April 10th. So I'm looking at a later date. Let's see what's available and lock it in so we can still get to go on our cruise, even though it's just a couple of weeks after our original sale date. Well, that representative said, sorry, I actually just came into work. I don't really know exactly what's going on yet. Let me go ahead and ask so I can help you further. Okay. Well, I was placed on hold again for another 32 minutes. When he answered, he said, I wish I would have known this earlier. Since you booked through Expedia, you do have to call them and they're going to contact us to make sure that you receive your new requested sale date. I was like, oh God, well, it was kind of my fault. Why well, didn't even think about calling Expedia to try and get that change through them. I guess maybe because I kept receiving emails from Carnival, so I kind of felt more connected with Carnival directly. But whatever, three hours wasted on the phone, but I still went about my day. All I did was put it on speaker and clean the house, get ready, go to Walmart. I did all of that while my phone was still on hold. Anyway, so I hang up and I call Expedia. They were experiencing long wait times, which actually turned out to be extremely short. I waited maybe 30 seconds before a representative answered the phone. And they said they can't do anything yet. We have to wait until the system is adjusted to all of the cancellations, this, this, and that. Whew, okay. I waited a couple of minutes and I called again. I got to another person. So I spoke to a different person. 
that person said that they can't do anything now for a couple of days okay it was actually similar to the first person i talked to so i ended up calling again and then i talked to a lady who said that her system is down and i have to call back in four hours oh my god okay i called again anyways to just make sure that the next person that i'm getting on the phone is also having troubles with their system i was calling like crazy because i was trying to reschedule our sailing we really want to go on this cruise and now it's not happening and there's thousands of people going through the same thing so i feel like i have to hurry up and snatch up the ocean view room that we had booked as well as the dates for a good price before other people snatch it up so i ended up calling again the next person also told me that they are having troubles with the system and they can't pull up my booking so all right, I actually waited three and a half hours before I called again and had a different person on the phone. They pulled up our booking. Obviously, the system was back up. And as they were looking at my booking, they said, well, your booking has been completely canceled and you should receive an email from Carnival letting you know what your options are. You also have to fill out a form letting them know whether you want to receive future cruise credit or if you just want to go ahead and get 100% return of your funds within 90 days. I told the lady that I already received that email. I filled out the form. I selected that we just want to go ahead and receive future cruise credit and onboard credit and can we just go ahead and book for the following month already what's up and the lady said no because we have to wait until carnival has the funds that you already paid for your cruise being reflected in their system okay so i've literally wasted every single phone call i made today so i ended up calling carnival again was on hold for about 30 minutes but as i was on hold that one last time i remembered that i met some great people through youtube that i knew were going to be able to help me out and get me a new sailing date so for those of you who are going through the exact same thing no matter what cruise line it is no matter how many days you want to sail how many people you name it if your cruise got canceled too then please check out this channel right here my friends the summit push that is jason and kelly kelly is a travel agent and she works with carnival cruise lines and she's going to be able to not only book a new cruise but she's also able to help you rebook the cruise that got canceled and is able to transfer the funds and help you out with a new sailing date. So if you have not done so yet, if you are just as frustrated as me, then please check out this channel right here. They also have an Instagram page called the Summit Push channel where you can contact them as well and ask some questions. And Kelly is actually helping me reschedule my cruise and get a new sailing date as I am recording this video. So thank you Kelly and Jason for helping the NAFM out with this. You guys are awesome. And in case you were already able to reschedule or cancel your cruise, if you just want some more information about cruising, what to pack, news in regards to any cruise lines cancellations, or some of the things that you can do offshore once you get to one of your destinations, please check out their channel. There's so much valuable information out there and it's actually very, very useful for me. Anyways, guys, I don't even want to make this video too long. I just wanted to keep you guys posted and share what has happened to me. Why I haven't posted the prank yet that was supposed to come out today. But I promise you guys I'm working on it. I may be able to get it completed today. But as of now, I'm going to sit back, find me a movie to watch, drink a little bit of more wine and just enjoy the day now you guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure that you leave me a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet and that button is red go ahead and smash that subscribe button i hope all of you stay safe don't panic 
Don't be scared. Just be aware of your surroundings. Make sure that you prepare. Stock up on toilet paper unless you're planning on using leaves. Make sure you got some extra food just in case you have to stay home for some time. Whether you are sick, one of your family members is sick, or we have to be quarantined and just stay at home for a couple of weeks. Make sure you got a little bit of extra up in there. Unless you have a chicken coop with some eggs and got a cow and a pig and you can make your own bacon or whatnot. I don't know, but... You see what I'm trying to say and where I'm going with this. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.